I opened opened the hotel window in the morning and saw Otson, saw PK, I uh, saw all the greenery, and it, honestly, it was right then. I'm like, I, I want to be here. Um, just fell in love with it then. What's going on, guys? It's Jeff from Chat Talk Sports, and today I'm here with former Oregon Ducks baseball player Josh Kasovitz. How's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. So we're going to start off with what made, went into the decision to commit to Oregon. Yeah, that was a that was a hard one. Um, kind of coming out of my junior year in high school, uh, was starting to get a little bit of traction uh, with colleges and stuff like that. Um, and Oregon reached out. I took a visit up there, took an unofficial. I fell in love with the campus. Um, and at that point, I, I kind of knew I wanted to go there. I say it's a hard one because uh, I grew up right next to Stanford. Uh, kind of always thought I was going to go there and never got recruited by them. So when Oregon reached out, I was beyond excited because I knew I would get a get a chance to play against them. Um, and then kind of towards the end of that junior summer of high school is when I committed. Uh, and since then, it was the best decision I've made in my life. You mentioned the campus being great. What was your first impression when you first got on campus? Yeah, so first memory I have is I woke up, uh, kind of got in late at night uh, the night before, woke up the next morning. I think I was at the Hyatt Hotel, and I opened opened the hotel window in the morning and saw Otson, saw PK, uh, saw all the greenery. And it, honestly, it was right then. I'm like, I, I want to be here. Um, just fell in love with it then. What was your favorite piece of merch that you got from being at Oregon? Oh, man. All right, just because I'm a baseball guy, I – the Rawlings custom gloves, that's got to be it. I, I'm a huge glove guy, uh, and Rawlings, best brand out there. Yeah, uh, love that one right there. 44 yeah. is pretty good, too. I, 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 I custom made this one. I got the state of Oregon on it. I'm, I'm in Washington, but I've always wanted to live in Oregon. You got the green yep. and yellow. But, yeah, I got to go with the the custom Rawlings glove. It's got the O right, right where you got the state of Oregon there. Um, got a couple of those, and, and those are the most prized possession from Oregon. I would say my favorite piece that I've seen recently for the baseball team was those white and green hats. Those things are pretty clean. When we went down to Eugene for the spring game, I yeah. went to that game. That's where I met you. Uh, mm. those, those were some of the nicest hats I've seen. Yeah, those are sweet. I think a couple of years back, too, they had a they had a helmet. I think my sophomore year when we played Oregon State, we had a white helmet with the green bill, and they had the duck right on the right on the logo spot. Those were sweet, but we only That's used those one weekend. That's pretty clean. Mm -hmm. And then while you're at Oregon, 2020 happened. Want well, to talk a little bit about how you reacted with playing baseball in 2020? Yeah, it was kind of my first taste of college baseball. Uh, struggled a little bit on the field. Uh, looking back, it was one of the best learning, learning experiences of my life. Um, kind of got to see firsthand that I wasn't where I needed to be physically, mentally, all that. So, um, yeah, we were on the bus going to UCLA. Season got canceled. Uh, so I went went back home a couple of days later and, and just kind of got to work. Uh, and that's honestly when it all changed for me. It, I started putting all my time into baseball, started working out like I never had before, spending basically the whole day lifting, hitting, taking ground balls, just trying to put myself in a better position. Uh, and then came back in 20, uh, 2021 and then had a pretty good sophomore year and then pretty good junior year too. Who would you say is your favorite teammate first off in like high school and younger and then Oregon and then uh, now in the minor leagues? Man, that's a great question. Uh, favorite teammate growing up? Man. Um, so, there's this one kid I grew up with. Uh, his name's Hianu Ro. Uh, same grade, same, same high school, kind of same path through – through little league and stuff like that. So we were, we would always play together, uh, travel ball all the way up through high school. And, uh, we both kind of, kind of grew together and off seasons, we would throw together, hit together, do all that stuff. So that was, that was one of my, uh, favorite teammates from my younger days, uh, coming to Oregon. There's so many guys. I, I just love playing with everybody on that team. Really. Uh, I think that was one of the, the best parts about Oregon is such a close knit group. Uh, 
But somebody that really took me under their wing was uh, was Tanner Smith and Gabe Matthews. They kind of showed me showed me the ropes and and kind of brought me into the program. So I'm really grateful for them. And now I'm I'm just excited to play with a bunch of bunch of really talented guys. Um, get a chance to play with new guys, guys that don't speak the same language. It's a lot of new experiences. Uh, but one guy I've kind of clicked with, he was my roommate when I got out here to Florida, uh, was Cade Dowdy from LSU. Um, played against him in the regional in Eugene and then got here and played together uh, with the low A team in Dunedin, which was a lot of fun. And then going into the draft, what was your anticipation or hope for where would you, where you would get drafted? Yeah, I didn't really have too much anticipation going in. Uh, wasn't wasn't wanting to go to one specific spot. I was just looking for an opportunity to to kind of further my career. So when when that day came, I was just excited to get a call to go play because uh, that's that's all I want to do. I just want to play baseball for for as long as I can, really. So uh, that day was definitely stressful, but there wasn't one spot I was looking for. wasn't anything like that. I was just looking for an opportunity to go play. Who all was with you when you first got the call? Yeah, so it was, I was with my family back home, uh, my mom and my dad. My brother lives in New York and works there, and then my girlfriend was with me as well. What would you say is the biggest transition, especially with different bats? Would you say you prefer the composite or the wood bat? Man, well, <laughs> I feel like I should say wood bat now because that's what I got to use, but the composite bats were crazy. Um <laughs> You get you get jammed on an inside pitch or hit one off the end, and your hand's not not stinging for the next couple innings. But those wood bats, it's you got you got a really fine barrel. So um, I think the the composite bats are probably a little bit more fun to use. I think the wood bats are a little bit more realistic, and I don't think there's a better feeling than getting a, a clean barrel with a wood bat. Are you? What are you most excited for going into your future with the Blue Jays? Yeah, it's a great organization. They got great people that that want to help you, want to get you better, want to develop you. Um, so just blessed to be blessed to be with them, and uh, just looking forward to playing a full season. I think uh, there's there's a lot of games in that season, and I'm excited to to get a play every day. So now you most likely are going to be moving up to Vancouver. That's going to be in the same division as Eugene. So what's it going to be like playing back in PK Park? Yeah, whenever that happens, I'm I'm excited for it. Um, shoot, got to play three years there. Is, I don't think there's a better park to play in, um, and it'll definitely bring back a lot of good memories on that field. And then also, you would be playing in Everett. So one of these times when you're in Everett, you gotta hit me up, and we can maybe go get lunch or something. Would love to. I'll let you know. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, Somewhat shorter this time, but I think we banged out most of our topics. So thanks great. for coming on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, you too.